Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Vanilla Survival 1.16.2. I have not yet upgraded to 1.16.3, but that is because I'm waiting just for up to fine uh, to be upgraded as well. Um, but anyways, ooh, it's turning night time. Uh, but anyways, today we will be doing two projects, two things that we really, really need. One, we need to um, we need to do something about our storage. And two, I want to be able to enchant stuff so we can get to the nether and be a little bit safer. But let's sleep first. Need a server with low cost but still has good performance? Humble servers has super low prices thanks to their per core principle. You can get a 2GB RAM server for just 4 US dollars in their supreme lineup using Ryzen 9 3900 CPUs. You also get unlimited storage and slots. So go and get your server now and use promo code BINARYV at checkout to save 25% off your first purchase and by using the link down below in the description you support me and the channel. So I want to do something about the storage and I have an idea. I'm actually going to tear this wall down. I'm not going to put the storage on this wall because I want to be able to actually expand it. Um, but I'm going to continue the hallway down like maybe seven blocks or so. And then I'm going to install barrels on one side of the wall. Um, hopefully that is going to do it and hopefully it's going to look good. I'm not going to use chests. I feel like barrels might actually be better and easier and cooler so plus they have the same capacity as chest granted they cannot become double-sided we'll see anyways i'm gonna mine this out and i'll be right back with you All right, that is all the stone removed. Do I have any? Yes, I do. Perfect. I'm going to add these pillars right here. And so this right here, this is seven blocks wide. And I think we will then put barrels, as I said, into the wall right here. I'm going to do the floor and the ceiling another time. Um, potentially after we have gotten an enchanted enchantment area, because then I might be able to get fortune on my diamond pickaxe that would be pretty cool to take this coal might as well wait for that um so yeah and i don't know what we would put on this wall right here i guess we will find out in the future all right i'm gonna add these right here back so the wall looks nice as the end here and just add these in like so boop perfect um and then i'll get some design going on this wall of course probably same design like over here and this as well. Um, I could move all the storage over on this wall instead of this wall. In that case, I could maybe do some item sorting with this furnace system going back and then sorting through. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. Should it be on this wall or should I put it over here with the intention of later adding item sorting? I don't know if I'm even going to do that. Um, in this let's play but i guess we'll find out let me know what you think your opinion down below in the comments but anyways that was uh that now i just need to of course make all the barrels actually i need to remove all of this as well again i am going to wait with the flooring just because maybe i get a good diamond pickaxe and then either way it's going to be way faster to um to do also, I apologize if there is construction noise in the background because there might be there might be construction in the background. There, there's a lot of stuff going on here. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I need more wood. I still really like how this looks. We have to go through the Nether very, very soon and explore. I'm also just going to take all the sugarcane that is grown here because we'll need it for books. Now I will not be able to actually get the good enchantments, I just remembered, because we don't actually have a cow farm. So that is a bit of a bummer. Um, so that is probably something we will have to do next, get the animals going so I can get more leather from cows. I currently have enough for five bookshelves, but I believe we need 15 in total 
for to be able to get level 13 enchantments. I could go out and get some leather. Maybe I will if I have time for this episode. We'll see. All right, barrels. We need all these slabs right here, and then we need a bunch more logs. So, so, and so, and I don't have enough logs actually. Uh, planks. Oh dear. Huh. I need even more wood than this. But barrels are actually also more cheap than chests are because chests you chests you need. Um, all eight logs, but for the barrels you only need six technically uh, Six seven blocks, so you actually Save a bunch from using only Barrels if you want to think of it like that. I need more wood The only like I said downside with barrels is that you cannot make it bigger and get a big barrel like you can with it chest and get a large chest but to be honest I, I really like barrels so I don't I don't think I mind in this case well then this guy just popped out of nowhere what do you got pink dye knotless shells kelp puppy yeah I just feel like Mojang really need to do something about these guys because I think a lot of people hate these guys because <laughs> they're so cheap but not cheap sorry expensive like puppies and I can get a bunch of this stuff without having to spend emeralds that I could be spending on villages and getting even better stuff. Like help, I just need to go find an ocean and I can get unlimited amounts of it. Lonely shells, I can understand, but yeah, that's eh. Really feel like something on that front needs to change. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's just me and I have only seen the negative. I don't know, but um, that's my opinion. Is he going through the nether? What happens if... Can, can, can you... Hold on. Hey, buddy. Is he gonna go through? Nope, he didn't go through. <laughs> that would have been fun, though. Alright, I need some more wood. I need some bone meal, so I'm gonna hunt some uh, bones, I was about to say. I'm gonna hunt some skeletons. Uh, then get some more wood, and then I'll be right back. And yes, we will harvest the potatoes today. Owie. All right, I have the wood that I need, hopefully, but I just thought that it would be a good idea to maybe get the nearby cows already in this area and start breeding them. They will just be roaming free, but hopefully they won't go too many places, just because I might as well try and speed up the process as much as I can already. Um, let me just find, yeah, these two. These two will do nicely. I think those two might be the only ones in the area. And I guess the sheep can follow with as well. This down here will eventually be a closed area where they will be able to walk around maybe with a shed and stuff so they can uh, seek shelter and stuff like that. And sure, sheep have, have wheat as well. Don't have any other use for it right now. Alright, cool. So, we have begun that process. That is good. Hopefully they won't wander too far away. And finally, all the barrels required right here boop 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 perfect that is all the barrels now i just need to organize them of course but now it's on to the next project an enchantment table and we're able to make an enchantment table um but i want a cool place to actually use it and yes i could make a room in there that would make life a whole lot easier but i wanted i have had for like the beginning of this season um or series I've had to want to put it into a cave, make an enchantment cave, and originally I thought about it over there in the flower biome, but yeah, that that that's a little bit far to travel when I don't have an elytra. So I'm thinking of putting it right here, mine down a couple of blocks in the ground, and then have it down there, maybe with some water, some lily pads, some glass maybe, who knows, I don't know. Um, but that is kind of my idea, so we will have to remove all these bamboo. That is so satisfying to listen to. <laughs> Alrighty then. Do that. Perfect. And then just maybe, I don't know, I am thinking of time-lapsing this, but... I want to just have a start here, something to go off of. Um... 
So if I go like this, maybe, then go even further down. I don't want it to be symmetrical as well, and in the end, I'll always be able to correct things as such. But I think this is gonna be a good start right here. Having like a cave go down. I actually think I wanted to expand a little bit further, if that makes sense. So get rid of this. Do something like that. Okay, I think I'm gonna head into the time lapse here and then start working on those. And then you'll see it when it's done, because otherwise the video. Oh dear. The video is probably gonna be very long with me uh, trying to build this off of. Well, just what I can imagine here. I can imagine anyway. Uh, and yet I continue because maybe it is interesting. Let me know what you think. Uh, should I do builds like this where I commentate or should I time lapse at all? Let me know down below in the comments. Um, I like something like this, I think. And then maybe down one more. Hmm, how does that look from outside? That looks interesting, and then if we have a big chamber right like right here, I don't want it to go deep. I want to kind of be able to see it from outside, so if we actually are able to see it, so I think maybe go down one more level here. Yeah, 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 like this, I think. Yeah, I think this will do it. All right, let me head into a time. Oh dear, <laughs> let me head into a time lapse, and I'll see you guys there. <laughs> Stay tuned. I'm sad, very sad. I said it would be a time lapse. That was my intention, but I finished the entire thing. Then I pressed escape, and it had not recorded anything. Replay mod had not recorded anything, so I don't have a time lapse to show you. Which is a really big bummer. But, on the positive side, I am done with it and, in my opinion, it actually looks really, really, really cool. So let's turn around and have a look, shall we? Ah, annoying. But hey, these things happen, right? Anyways, as you can see, we now have sort of a ruined look with some bamboo in the background and a hole in the ground. And as we move slower, we see it's a bit dark and we see some bookshelves and we see the water down here. Um, my plan is to have the enchantment table sitting right here. Um, and then I will have bookshelves here, 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 and then on this space right here that is going to equal in 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then one more over here. And we should have enough to be able to achieve level 30. I had just enough to make, um, I had enough to make five bookshelves right here. And we are going to go ahead and make the enchantment table right now, actually. Uh, boop, 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 that's a book. Let's just turn these in right away. Book, obsidian, and diamond. Boom, enchantment table. Now, my uh, idea is to eventually get maybe a glowstone to put down here in this hole right here to give, uh, to give light. But for right now, I'm just going to do that, and boom, and boom. Cool. I guess that doesn't really make sense that it's over the water like that. Um, but uh, I'm going to roll with it. Actually, I just discovered trap doors can be waterlocked. So if I just do that, it's like it's being kept up with some wood. I guess we could do that with some more of this, I suppose. To make it look like it's getting support. You see, I tried doing a bunch of this stuff, but none of it really looked that good. But this might actually work. Uh, if I just... Like that, maybe? It doesn't cover all the water, and the water is actually physically going through it? Yeah, I think I like that. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Anyway, I think I'm done building this thing for now. I think I like it. The enchantment table is being kept up with some water support. No, sorry, wood support. And we actually do have a light source in here. It's not a torch in there. You can barely see it, but it does give some light. So that is pretty cool. We will probably need some more, maybe a redstone lamp or something. I don't know. I'll, again, I'll probably sneak a glowstone block under there just to give some more lighting. Now, 
I need uh, 10 more leather. Not 10 more leather, sorry. Um, 30 more leather, I believe, in order to make the full enchantment table. Um, as you can see, I did some bunch of stuff with some glass and I just couldn't find something that I really liked. But I think I got that now. Alright, I'm gonna keep that with me. Okay, I'm gonna sleep and then I have a little bit more time before I'm starting to run out. So I'm going to give like 15 minutes, 30, 20 minutes to look for some cows and uh, get some leather. And we will see if I have gotten enough to make the bookshelves that we need, because I would really love to enchant the diamond pickaxe today. Um, so we're gonna try that. So, I'll be right back. Not a time lapse this time. <laughs> Could you imagine then the time lapse worked, then it would, yeah. Anyways, I'll be right back. That guy is still here. That's interesting. Now I am going to move out of my general area. So, excuse me? That's another one? Glowstone. Oxide Daisy. I could actually buy the glowstone, but I'm not gonna do that because I could literally go down into the nether and get it for free. But anyways, I'm going to move out of my general area here uh, before I actually start killing things, just because I don't want to hurt the natural wildlife that is close to me. So that's just my strat. Also, I seem to have taken a wrong turn. <laughs> that, that's a big ravine. Oh dear. And I am back from a dangerous adventure. <laughs> but I did get all the leather that we will require, hopefully. Hopefully that is all of it. Um, I'm going to keep the crafting table on me. And I also got a bunch of beef. So, I mean, I can't complain about that whatsoever. And how can I get in there, you coal? Uh, um, where do I have any extra, like paper, sugarcane, or anything? Because I'll need all the sugarcane I can get, honestly. This is going to be the hindering right here, I think. I actually don't think I'll have enough sugarcane in order to do this. Wait, why are these guys still alive? What on earth? You should be dead. You should be dead. You should be dead. Die. Yeah, that's right. Don't try and cheat the system. Yeesh. Okay. Let me try and get some sugarcane here. 41. How much is that? Don't tell me I have to go hunting for sugarcane now as well. So that is how much? Ah, uh, not enough. I need 10 more, so I need 30 more sugarcane. Okay, 30 more pieces of sugarcane. Where can I find 31 more pieces of sugarcane? 31 more pieces of sugarcane. 31 more pieces of sugarcane. I'm running out of time. Okay, if I take all of the stuff that I have here, and then go searching and I just need six more and I should maybe be able to get that at the swamp I'll try and take a look and then we'll just have to get an automated sugarcane farm I think because Yeah, sugarcane is just a pain to get when you really really need it So yeah, I think an automated sugarcane farm is about time. I should probably have made that a long time ago Sugarcane sighted and a lot of it. Nice. All right, so that is enough for the 30 we need. Then I'm just going to take some of this extra stuff over here just for making a new farm, basically. Perfect. Back to base. All right. This should be enough paper. It is perfect. All right, so make all the books just like so. And then bookshelf, and hopefully I have enough planks for this. Wait. What? Wait, I actually, I actually have enough. Hold on. Okay, this makes sense. This makes sense. Hold on. Okay, so we have 10. So we have 5 down here. So that is that. Let's just check in here. So 22. Add another one over here. Oh, that's not gonna work. 24. Alright, so I'm gonna have to break this. That and that. And then put these in like so. Level 30. Yes! Okay, now I just really hope that I actually have Lapis Lazuli and that we can enchant the Diamond Pickaxe. Ooh, yes, I definitely have Lapis Lazuli. Perfect! Let's make the first enchantment of the series. Alright, here we go. First enchantment, Diamond Pickaxe, 
If it's just four, please have fortune and unbreaking. If not, it's fine. I can get more experience and grindstone it down. But let's hope. Here goes. Yes, Efficiency 4 and Fortune 3. I'll definitely take that. I can always get Unbreaking on it. That right there is pretty good. Look at that. Alright guys, I'm going to call it an episode here. I really hope you have enjoyed. We got an Enchantment Diamond Pickaxe, which is really good. And we got the Enchanting Cave done as well. And I just realized these vines are actually going to grow down and do some more to this place as well. Let me know if you like this place or not down in the comments below. <sighs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.